Hello, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Let's get started in our email here and see what we have going on. This first email says, you work with computers, right? I'm after a new rig. Can you build something good? I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you get it to benchmark at least 2276? That seems like an awfully low benchmark, but you know, whatever. Can you finish in 10 days? Can you install an AO water cooler in it? I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. NZXT components are meant to be the bomb. So Michael would like a new PC with what seems to me like a pretty low 3D mark score, but hey, if that's what he wants. So let's go ahead and accept this one. The next one here says, Dear Sir Madam, so I need a new PC. I'm looking to overclock in the future. Can you put in a custom water cooling loop? Can you do it in seven days? I like nice new shiny components. Have you heard of AMD? They're meant to be pretty good. So he wants a custom water cooled computer. 3,500 bucks seems to be a reasonable amount of money. So let's go ahead and accept that one. So last one here says captain's log supplemental with the new computer. A Mr. Nemo has finished his analysis of the satellite orb orbiting Placidius. Seems the satellite absorbs negative brain waves from the planet's surface, leaving the Placidians in a state of perpetual calm. Our readings indicate it has been in orbit for millennia. But that long lifespan may be coming to an end. The solar radiation from the imminent supernova is causing the satellite to malfunction and redirect its stored energy outward into space. These waves of negative emotion are washing over the ship. It's no wonder that some of the crew have been acting abnormally since we arrived in the system. Mr. Nemo tells me the satellite will be utterly destroyed when the star goes supernova, which could be a matter of hours. But that same supernova will obliterate the planet and the Placidians if we don't construct our force field in time. If we're to have any hope at all of success, our engineering computer will need a significant performance boost. And time is critical. Millions of lives now hang in the balance. So all that huge novel to say that he needs another graphics card. He's got a budget of 700 bucks. So let's go ahead and accept that. Let's see. We built this computer, I believe. What did we put in it? Got a 1080 Gaming X Plus. Let's see how much those are. MSI... Ten, oops, not 18. 1080. 1080 Gaming X Plus is $710. He wants to spend $700. i am pretty sure we can just put one of these Gaming X's in there. Let's Add that to our cart. So that one's done. This one, I'm going to step away for just a few minutes. Get this build put together, and I will be right back. So for this first build, we've got an NZXT N7 Z390 motherboard, an i7-9700K, a Kraken X72, two sticks of Corsair Vengeance, RAM 8 gig, 3200 megahertz, a Gigabyte Aorus GTX 1080, 3 terabyte hard drive, 480 gig M.2 drive, and we're going to put that in the NZXT H710i case. All right. So for this next one, we're doing custom water cooling. So let me go ahead and get the custom water cooling shop brought up. I'm going to step away, get this build put together, and be right back. Okay, and so for this custom water-cooled PC, we're going to go with the Asus ROG Strix X399E gaming motherboard, an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1920X, four sticks of G-Skill Sniper X Black 8GB 3600MHz, Gigabyte 850W power supply, 2TB hard drive, 512GB M.2 drive. We're going to put it all in the Lee & Lee PC011 Dynamic. For the water cooling parts, we've got the Alpha Cool Block or Threadripper. We've got an EK Res, 
an EK 360 mil radiator, and we're going to put in the Radeon Vega 64 water-cooled GPU. So let's go ahead and purchase all of that. And we'll come over here, and we will get all of this. We did, okay, wanted to make sure we accepted that long novel of an email. Let's go end our day. We'll get in our upgrade and all the parts for our builds. We can go to work. Oh, did we get something from PC Bay? I'm so confused. Why did we get two? Okay, well, let's get our parts. Well, let's put our upgrade up here. Let's put... Which one was this? This one was for the first build. Is one of these used? Don't know, but I'm going to take the second one. We'll put that there. Let's see, this goes with the first build. And Culture Gordon goes with the second build. So let's get this upgrade out of the way first. Let's go ahead and prep this Kate. Whoops. I did not want to take that out. Let's put you back in. All right, let's get the graphics card installed. Do that. What did we pick up? We got the Gaming X, right? So we get that installed. Let's cable it up. Looks like we've got red cables. Let's scroll down here to our braided red. Cable that up. Let's power it on. Make sure it boots. Let's hop into a 3D Mark. I'm going to let this run. As soon as we get a score, I will come right back. Uh-oh, we got a blue screen. What do we have in here for... A power supply. Whoops. Five hundred and fifty watt. Well, let's power this down. Turn it back on. Let's hop into the BIOS. Don't think this is overclocked at all. Let's do a factory reset though, just to be sure. We'll hop back into the BIOS. Yep, that is stock speed there. I know the graphics cards don't have an overclock on them, but I'm wondering if this power supply just isn't enough for that Threadripper and these two 1080s. Well, I'm going to run it again. Maybe it was just a fluke. We blue screen again. I'll come back and we'll figure out what to do. Well, there it is. We blue screened again. So, I think I might have to work with this when I'm not recording. And we'll have to possibly come back to it at the next episode or at the end of this one. But let's go ahead with our builds. I'm going to have to do some math on that to see if I can figure out what needs to be done and what we have money for. So let's get this case all taken apart, get the fans pulled out of it. 
Let's go ahead and get our motherboard installed. This one's getting the NZXT Z390 board in white. Let's get it ready for RAM and CPU. We'll get our CPU put in there. It's the 9700K. And we're putting in two sticks. What am I looking for? Memory. Two sticks of Corsair Vengeance. Let's get this ready for the graphics card. It's also getting this M.2 drive. And a hard drive. It's getting a three terabyte. While we are on this side, let's get the power supply put in. Did I not order? Did I not order the power supply for this one? That's interesting. Not sure, if I go back, when I go back and watch this. I'll probably see that I did not order it. Let's go ahead and get it now. It's the Silverstone NJ520 is what I wanted to put in there. We'll just get same day delivery. My fault. So I'll waste the hundred bucks. And get that installed. Oh. We've got one of these mounting rings. Now we can get it installed. Unplug that. Let's get the PSU mount back on there. Well, let's get some thermal paste. And we can go ahead and install our CPU cooler, which is the Kraken X72. Uh oh. A hard drive bay in the way? Well, maybe they're not getting a hard drive. Let's see if we can put that X72 on here now. There we go. I don't think there's any other place to install this, yeah. Can I install this cooler in the top get some thermal paste back on the CPU was it saying everything's in the way Oh, let's just install it in the front. I'm not sure what the whole case lighting up red actually means. But it will be fine there. Let's get our graphics card. Which is the Gigabyte. No, I don't want to install it that way. There we go. I think we're ready to start cabling things up. Oops. Let's do, what is this, kind of an orange color? Let's see if we can replicate that. That might look nice along with the white and black. Okay, let's put some of this case back together. Let's get the dust filter and the front panel back on. And let's get the top panel I don't think the top panel has a dust filter. Let's get that back on. We can get a USB drive in here and we can power this up. I'm going to hop into the BIOS. Turn on XMP. We'll let the OS get installed and then we will get 3D Mark on here. 
we can run a 3D Mark test. Actually, before we do that, let's put our lighting app on. We'll get the lighting adjusted. Okay. Let's make everything this orange color. I think that's better. All right. I'm going to get 3D Mark running. As soon as it's done, I'll come back with a score. All right, so there it is, 74, 26. Definitely beat the 22 something, 2276 that they were looking for. Let's get this case put back together. And then we can get this out into the hall. I think those colors look pretty nice together. Let's get this out here. I'm just going to put this extra case in the storage cupboard. Let's get this case taken apart so we can get started on this custom water-cooled PC. Let's go ahead and get the motherboard in. It's the Asus, I forgot which one we were putting in. The X399 board. Man, that thing, like, overhangs this corner. Interesting. While we're at it, I'm going to hop over here, grab the 360 radiator, and go ahead and put that in. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Get this open. Get this ready for RAM. This is getting four sticks. Did I open that one? Oops. Get all four of those open. Let's get our CPU, the 1920X. And let's get our RAM, the G Skill Sniper. Get all four sticks of that installed. Get some thermal paste on there, on that monster. And let's go ahead and get our CPU block installed on here. Looks like it barely fits. Alright, let's get our M.2 drive in. The Patriot Scorch. And let's go ahead and open this hatch here. And we can get our, I think it was getting a three or a two terabyte. No, two terabyte. Get the two terabyte drive installed. Maybe. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that little back panel reinstalled on there. Let's get our GPU. Got the Vega 64. Need to get our power supply installed. Which is this Gigabyte Aorus. Flip this back around this way. We'll hop back over here. We'll get our reservoir. Now we're getting somewhere. I think we're about ready to start getting, <clears throat> excuse me, start getting this cabled up and piped. Let's do cables first. I'm going to go with these tight white cables. They will look nice and clean. Get everything cabled. Now we can start piping this. Let's use rigid pipe. Let's see here. 
Let's go from there to there. We'll run this to this side. Not like that, though. At least... That's not too bad. I think I can live with that. Let's see. Does it say, okay, that's out, that's in. We're gonna go out to the res. I think that'll work. Let's get some coolant in there. We have just like a white. White opaque coolant. I'll let that get run through. While that's running through, let's get the USB drive in. We'll see if this powers on. We'll hop into the BIOS. Turn our XMP on, make sure it's booting from the right drive. don't know that I can change too many colors on here, like especially with the case, but take a look real quick. We can change the case lighting. I really don't remember. Let's see. Let's just make it white. Oh yeah, you sure can. Okay. Let's get this case put back together. And then we can go collect some money. Get the top panel on. Let's take a look at this thing. That is not half bad. Oops. All right, let's go put this out in the hall. After recording later, I'll work on this and see if I can figure out exactly what's going on with it, and we will revisit it in the next episode. But let's go ahead and collect these two PCs that we built. Did we get anything good here? We've almost leveled up. Got in a bunch more emails, which we will get to in the next episode as well. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode.